All right, chat. Parasite anime review. Are you ready? <laughs> so it came out in 2014. So relatively new. So basically, this anime is about this 17 year old high school student, right? Just a normal, ordinary high school kid. <laughs> And he's like scared of everything. Like it shows in the first episode, he's like scared of like fucking spider. Like he's just always nervous and stuff. Like he's already convinced like he's gonna get eaten by bugs and all kinds of crazy shit. So it's like his parents don't really take him seriously when he says a bug just fucking crawled in me. Cause it did. Some crazy ass parasite alien comes into his room and it crawls into his skin. So basically this parasite, once it gets in, in, inside your body, it goes in, I think, I don't know if it goes in your bloodstream, but it goes directly into your brain to take over your brain. Um, and if it does, then that was like a successful like transplant plant i don't know what you would call that <laughs> successful parasite parasitic living if you will and what happens in the process when that happens is the human dies basically it, it kills the human essentially so this parasite that got into him wasn't successful it doesn't take over him completely it ends up only taking over his hand so it wasn't a successful whatever transplant mutation whatever it is He's freaked out because his hand is like talking to him and shit. He's like, what the fuck is going on? You know, like within a day, this this alien, by the way, this parasite is really fucking intelligent. So like it learned how to speak Japanese in one day. If that tells you anything. It's, it's highly, highly intelligent. You can just suppose that it came from outer space because the only like guesses or hints from where it came from that we know of is just like you see these little pods falling from the sky so they fall all over the world so simultaneously this is happening to a bunch of other people too there's a couple people in the uh, uh, anime that have the, a similar thing happen to them like where it doesn't successfully take over their head so it ends up taking over another part of their body um and he runs into one of those a couple of those people later on anyways the people it does take over successfully though, the parasite is very smart. And it's like, I have to eat humans in order to survive. Which by the way, these parasites are, they're, they're cannibals. If the parasite latches onto a dog, for example, that parasite that's now controlling the dog will eat other dogs. If it attaches to a human, that human's going to eat other humans. So some of the parasites just are like, whatever, dude, this is just, it is how it is, you know? They just go around their daily lives just killing other humans and shit. Eventually maybe get caught, you know, shot down, whatever, if you will. Some of them are a little bit more intelligent. These parasites and they're like, man, maybe we should figure out a way to coexist with humanity, you know? So the story goes on, you know, the the hand, which he later names, the, the alien that took over his hand, he later names him uh, Miggy, which he ends up being my favorite character, by the way. Miggy is fucking badass. I love Miggy. He's just like, for the most part, void of emotion because th that's these parasites just are. They don't really have too much emotion, uh, but they're very intelligent. So they can use their intelligence to like learn what emotion is and how to respond to it. So it's kind of cool. I ended up, I loved him, by the way. He was the sickest. The reason why I really like this anime a lot is because, okay, not only was it drawn really well, right? It's got a good plot line. Like, so it's like this human and this, uh, Parasite, Miggy have to learn how to coexist with each other. As they're learning to live and coexist with each other, there's all these other parasites running around, killing other people. This is freaking out Sh Shinichi. So he gets involved with like the police and shit, trying to take a lot of these people down. By the way, at this moment in the anime, nobody knows that Shinichi has this alien in his hand. This they, That doesn't come out until later. So um, he's teaming up with the police to try to take down some of these other parasites. But again, it brings up the whole concept of like, do we really have the right to do that, right? Now these parasites are here. They live on planet Earth. We need to give them some respect and we should learn how to coexist with each other, right? Like that would be the right thing to do. So some of the parasites are trying to do that. One in particular, this hot ass bitch on the right of my screen right now, her name was, I don't know if I'm saying this correctly, Raiko Tamura. So she, she took over this body of this, she was a teacher or some shit very intelligent super hot she immediately starts trying to figure out how she can coexist with humans in the first episode she's banging some other parasite dude you know it gets hot and heavy hentai like first episode i don't know if you're into that sort of thing but it's got a little bit of that in here and she ends up having like a baby and shit it's crazy she's doing science experiments since day one so that seems to be her main goal right she's like you know what we're here and we're gonna figure out how to live with uh humans uh, she doesn't really give a shit about humans. In fact, if you fuck her wrong, 
That came out wrong. But I bet if you fucked her wrong too, she would kill you. If you fucked her wrong, you know, physically or figuratively, she'd probably kill you. But uh, anyways, she, you find out later in the anime, she's doing like all these like science experiments and shit. She wanted to create like an ultimate being, basically, an ultimate parasite human being. She ends up creating this character called Goto. I think I'm saying his name correctly. He's the guy all the way in the back that's got the eyeballs coming out of his chest and shit. So he ends up being this like insanely intelligent, like insanely buff, super strong uh, parasite that's taking over a human body. But the problem with him basically is that he lacks like any sort of like, not that any of them necessarily have a sense of humanity because they're parasites, but he's so full of rage that that is gonna always be his main goal. And his main goal is just like pure destruction. Like he's never gonna be able to probably coexist and shit. Yeah, he was badass though. He was sick. Later on, there's like a, basically a big ass like, you know, anime fight at the end of the anime where Miggy and Shinichi have to fight up against Goto. They're, they go jib for jab. Like you think Mig Miggy's dead for a minute and then he's not dead. And then, you know, Shinichi, they all, they end up going, you know, pulling through, you know, and they end up taking down Goto. And then they, they leave. And this is where it really starts to get you to think. It really starts to get you to think. So the whole anime, it's already got you thinking about, you know, do we really deserve to decide what happens with planet Earth? Like we we pick and choose what plants, you know, plants and animals we want to save, which ones we don't give a shit about, which ones we eat, which ones we don't eat. We make all the rules. Why though? Why? Right? Why do we get to do that? So Mickey gets all, he has like heightened senses and shit, by the way. Like these parasites can tell when they're close to each other and shit. So he realizes that Goto actually isn't dead. They go back to his body and Miggy's like, yo, Shinichi, here's the deal. I'm not going to kill him because that just seems fucked up. Like, why am I going to kill a fellow parasite? Why would I do that? You know, just like, why would you just kill a, another human? You know, like, yeah, you can't kill a homie. So then Shinichi's like, well, I'm going to do it. But then right before he does it, he's like, shit, I can't do it. You know, he has the whole philosophical like tug and pull of do I really get to choose what happens to this parasite? Is that up for me to decide? Do I get to play God? You know, like are humans actually, do they deserve to be here more than this guy? And he's like, fuck, they don't. And then he almost starts walking away. And I was like, oh, you dumb bitch. Because listen, there's something like, that every single species on this planet Earth, and I bet in planet space, <laughs> in planet space, we're all selfish and we all have a selfish gene. Basically what that means is we wanna survive. We want our family to survive. We want our loved ones to survive. And we'll do whatever we can to keep them alive because of the selfish gene, you know? And he's like, you know what? Maybe it's not fair that this guy has to die. And ultimately, it sucks that I'm kind of playing God here. But you know what? I am terrified for my family's life. He's already lost his mom, by the way. Spoilers. <laughs> Mom's dead. Uh, dad almost died. He lost this hot chick that was sort of his girlfriend, not really his girlfriend. She was kind of crazy, but I kind of had a crush on her. He's like, you know what? I think I do got to kill this guy because I want to save my loved ones. I've watched too many die. I already lost my mom. So, you know, it is what it is. So he killed him. And then uh, Miggy drops some like heavy hitting sad shit right at the end. Okay. So through the anime, when Shinigi would dream, Shinichi, Shinichi, I'm, I'm confusing Shinchi and Shinichi together. <laughs> when Shinichi would dream, he would often have dreams that he's talking with Miggy in his subconscious. And one of the last scenes, it's Miggy talking to him in his subconscious in his dream. And he's saying oh, that, you know what? I've had a really great time, you know, coexisting with you and shit, but I'm gonna go dormant for a while. I don't know how long. I don't know if you'll still be alive when I come back or what, but he wants to go dormant for a while and kind of use his spidey senses to learn all about the world and shit. It's, it's like crazy, you know? And like Shinichi's like super sad. He's like, you can't leave me, bro. Like we've been through so much together. Like, I love you, baby. Don't leave me, you know? I'll never do it again. But Whitney Houston said it best when she said, I'll always love you, you know? It's like a bodyguard movie situation, you know? These two dudes love each other. They love each other. I'm assuming Miggy's a dude, I don't know. But it's a really great ending. It almost made me cry. <laughs> uh, it was great. It was such a great anime. Um, once again, I thought it had great, 
I didn't like the intro song. I wasn't necessarily big on the ender song, but I really liked all the music in between. I really enjoyed the way it was drawn. Um, I thought it had really good writing. Man, I've thought about this long and hard. I honestly think my overall score, ugh, like a part of me literally wants to give this a 10 out of 10. I'm trying to find a reason why I wouldn't give it a 10. Would, it te would I have to reserve a 10 if I like, you know, the intro song makes me fucking cry like uh, Neon Genesis, you know, like Eva intro, you know? Like maybe that puts it at a 10. Just do it. The only 10 anime I've ever given before this is Attack on Titan. Like everything was perfect. Oh, and it wraps itself up in one season. That's 24 episodes, by the way. So if you're looking for a quick short anime to watch, this is a great one. It's only 24 episodes. Yeah, I think, I think I'm gonna give this a 10 out of 10. It was really fucking amazing. It was really fucking amazing. I can't really think of any reason why I wouldn't.